Hey, it's Mike Intel. I'd like to talk about GameStop. The stock trades on the NYC under symbol GME. The stock was up a little over 7%, up to $265. Now, that's not the real story for today. The real story on GameStop was the fact that it was rising, 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 going all the way up near the $350 level before dropping 40% in a couple of minutes and then moving back up and then settling what a modest modest by GameStop's um, standards gain for the day. And after hours, it did move down a little over 3%. So what happened over here? It looks like uh, GameStop had a lot of bot activity on Wall Street bets that was driving up the price of the stock. And then there was some news that some uh, the government is going to start now getting more involved in figuring out what's going on with Wall Street bets and GameStop. In fact, the Treasury uh, Secretary Janet Yellen is going to be meeting with regulators today to talk about GameStop and just general uh, price action in relation to social media. So it's basically, I mean, basically they're going to be talking about GameStop and Wall Street bets. And I think the news on that coming out caused the stock to drop. Now, overall, you know, I have been talking about GameStop since it was under $10 a share. And I had already sold 90% of my position when it was all the way up. I had a market cap of $25 billion because my goal for GameStop was it for it to have a market cap of $30 billion by the year 2030, and it almost hit that goal. So I said, okay, let me just dump on my stock. So I still have some shares left because I still believe it's going to hit a market cap of $30 billion by the year 2030. Heck, it may do that by the end of this month, but um, I wanted to still have some skin in the game because I do believe in the company. I, you know, I didn't get into this company because of the hype. I got into this company months before. But that being said, I do think that the government's probably going to step in and probably make it um, put a step to the socialize to, you know, individual investors sort of ganging up on social media to drive a stock up, which is obviously um, which is obviously not right, because basically the large hedge funds do the same thing. So what's probably going to happen is that uh, I think one of two things is going to happen is that a lot of these um, a lot of these small Wall Street bets you know, people are going to move on to a decentralized platform, with, which they're already doing, or they're going to drive a lot of these young investors into cryptocurrency and NFT investing, which is what we're already seeing that now. In fact, I was thinking about doing a video talk about, I think the young generation of investors are probably not even going to be participating in the stock market at all. And that could not only cause the stock market to sort of uh, not grow at the rate it used to. It could just cause a huge, huge boom in cryptocurrencies and NFTs over the long term. I mean, we're, what we're seeing now, people think it's unsustainable, but it, I actually think that the trend of alternative investing um, could be a generational thing instead of just something that happens this year. So uh, I find it interesting what's going on with GameStop. I'm going to continue to hold the, the shares I have until it reaches $30 billion, whether that happens this year or in the year 2030. But I still believe in the company. I think the story of Ryan Cohen trying to transform the company into an e-commerce giant um, is going to be very transformative for the company. And it'll be able, I do be a, believe that GameStop will be able to grow into its valuation within a couple of years. However, it'll be interesting to see how the stock will react when earnings come out. So that'll be pretty interesting. So once again, if you want to check out GameStop, it trades on the NYC under symbol GME. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Thanks a lot.